Hi, my name is Drews. I'm here today to show you how easy it is to apply the slinkiest fake tan mousse and let you see for yourself how natural the colour is. I'm going to share a few tips with you so you don't get any streaks and to avoid product buildup, which you sometimes find on your wrist, your knees and your elbows. Emily has kindly agreed to be my model today and as you can see she has fair skin. Before we start, it's worth doing a little preparation. We recommend you start by exfoliating the skin to get rid of any dry and dead skin cells which may cause the colour to go patchy. Also, if you suffer from dry skin, apply moisturiser to the affected areas. It's worth applying moisturiser to the face, around the nose area and around the mouth, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the knees and the ankle. A couple of top tips. If you're applying tan after having a bath, wait at least 30 minutes to allow the body temperature to cool down to avoid the chances of it streaking. Also, if you're blonde like Emily, apply Vaseline to the eyebrow area. And just be careful that it only goes on the eyebrow. Now we are nearly ready to start applying the tan. First you'll need your Sunkist application mitt. The best thing about the Sunkist application mitt, it uses painted technology to stop the tan seeping through onto your hands and it only costs $2.99. The Sunkist Aerosol Mousse, which won a Pure Beauty Bronze Award last year, is perfect for fairer skin. One of the best things about Sunkist is the smell. Would you like to have a little smell on there? That's really nice. We start by applying the tan to the bottom of the body and working the way up. Now when doing the feet, don't just smooth over the toes. Try and get in between the toes, especially if you're going to be wearing um, sandals or flip-flops as it will give the feet a more natural and even cover. Now when applying tan to the knees, it doesn't have to be a problem as you've already moisturised the knee. Just apply a little more tan to the neck and then gently smooth over, working your way up to the thigh. Here you will see the immediate difference the tan makes. It is a lovely natural colour. Arms are notoriously difficult with wrists, elbows and underarm streaks to manage. Using an upward sweeping motion from the wrist to the shoulder will apply the tan. Then using a circular motion, cover the rest of the arm, making sure to check that you have no underarm streak. With the excess, go over the back of the hands making sure to blend it into the knuckles and getting right in between the fingers for that perfect natural coverage. Easiest way to do the back is to get someone else to do it, but if you're on your own, we suggest a well-lit room and a large mirror. We've already moisturised around the nose area and around the mouth and we've applied it across the face as well. We've put Vaseline on the eyebrows to protect them from any leakage and now we're just going to use sweeping motions across the forehead and across the cheek. And that's how you master the perfect time. Thank you for watching.